ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஆத்மா கேன் ரீச் பகவான் ஃப்ரம் பகவான் வித் ஒன்ஸ் ஓன் நாலேஜ் எஃபர்ட்ஸ் எபிலிட்டி அண்ட் ஸோ ஆன் ஆர் வில் இட் ஹேப்பன் ஓன்லி பை தி வில் ஆஃப் பகவான் பெருமாள் திஸ் கொஸ்டின் இஸ் தேர் ஸோ ஹியர் வென் ஆத்மா ஒர்க்ஸ் வித் ஆத்மாஸ் எபிலிட்டி ஆத்மாஸ் நாலேஜ் ஆத்மாஸ் எஃபர்ட்ஸ் to reach Perumal or to get something from Perumal related to Perumal only hearing or uh, engaging in some devotional activities all of these the emphasis on self-effort is present in all of these aspects when one is using one's knowledge one's ability one's efforts the emphasis is on self effort which implies that there is some swatantriyam that is atma using atma's independence free will and trying to reach bhagavan on his own so generally trying to reach bhagavan through one's own research one's own efforts one's own ability all of these will come under upayantarams that is other upayams such as karma yoga gnana yoga bhakti yoga tirunama sankirtanam dividesha vasam all of these when done as upayam involves decision and efforts in the atma so atma is doing all of that now the moment we talk about this self effort that is contrary to the true nature of jeevatma which is to be totally dependent on bhagavan to accept that atma is totally subservient to bhagavan and because of that atma will totally depend on bhagavan for everything and this particular state is known as sharanagati prapatti where one is totally surrendered to bhagavan accepting that bhagavan is the owner lord and one is just a servant so when someone is a servant then one depends on the master for everything so these are the two ways to overall categorization to reach bhagavan one is to go through self effort self knowledge uh, self ability and so on that is upayantaram karma yogam jnana yogam bhakti yogam trinam sankirtanam desha vasam all of those then the second option is to totally surrender to bhagavan accept that one is totally incapable even if one is capable one has to accept that one is incapable even if if one is knowledgeable one has to accept that he is totally ignorant and so on so these two aspects upayantarams and upayam bhagavan as the upayam upayantarams is karma yogam jnana yogam bhakti yogam and all of these now some may say that if one has the ability if one has the knowledge why not one can try to reach bhagavan on one own but if one doesn't have the knowledge one doesn't have the ability then one surrenders some may say like that some may say no no why should a person depend on someone else is it it better isn't it greater that one can accomplish something on one's own this is the world this is the world view that one has to be able one has to be knowledgeable one has to be uh, engaged in efforts one has to do something this is the 
worldly view the general view in the world that one has to do something to accomplish something but in spiritual terms if we understand the true nature of self then one will surrender unto bhagavan who is the lord and master and let bhagavan take care of our goal and our life in this world as well so what do we do after surrendering do we still uh, do anything at all or do we just sit and do nothing for that we can see the lives of our purvacharyas where they were all surrendered to bhagavan they were all surrendered to bhagavan through an acharya through their acharya and they engaged in so many different kankariya all kinds of kankariya physical kankariya kankariya by speech kankariya by mind so in all different ways they were engaged in kankariya so a surrendered person would still do all the activities which are done by those who pursue other upayam such as karma yoga gyan yoga bhakti yoga so even a person who is engaged in bhakti yoga he will sing pasurams he will do cooking he will do cleaning he will do all kinds of activities but for him all of those are part of his bhakti yoga so all of those are part of his means his process but for a sharanagata for a prapanna all of these become part of kaikarya that is we do it as a natural how pouring of our love towards bhagavan we don't do it as an expectation with an expectation to get something from him so this is the main difference between upayantarams and upayam and there are other differences such as other upayams we don't know how long it will take we don't know whether the result is guaranteed so there are so many different aspects but when we come to sharanagati we know that the result is guaranteed because bhagavan is giving the result we know that it will happen at the end of this life because we have surrendered through an acharya who is ensuring that we follow the philosophy the principles very clearly so all of these are added advantage in sharanagati especially the way our purvacharyas have shown that sharanagati has to be done through an acharya it is not directly done to perumal but through an acharya and the acharya is there for us for us to completely guide us so when such faith is there when total surrender is there then bhagavan will ensure that we go in the correct path we do the right things at the right time so this has to be understood the main difference between sharanagati and other upayams on top of all of these is sharanagati involves no ego it is shedding of ego so it is act for the jivatma swarupam that is the jivatma being a servitor it is act for jivatma to surrender to bhagavan on the other hand karma yogam jnana yogam bhakti yogam they are all contrary to the swarupam true nature of jivatma is to totally depend on bhagavan rather than doing that if we say i can do bhakti yogam and reach you whether it is one lifetime or 10 lifetimes or 100 lifetimes let me do it then that is also becoming contrary to the true nature of the jivatma who has to be who should totally depend upon bhagavan for everything so this main difference is the deciding factor for our purvacharyas to always depend upon bhagavan rather than depend upon our ability our knowledge our efforts and so on so it's an important aspect that's why i wanted to elaborate on that so this is uh, 
the question about Atma's efforts versus Bhagavan deciding on behalf of the Atma. So the conclusion is once a person surrenders, everything happens by the will of Bhagavan. So being a surrendered person, Sharanagata, is ideal for the Jeevatma. Alvar Indaramanar Jiyar Thirudigade Sharanam Jiyar Thirudigade Sharanam To learn such valuable information about our Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya, please download Koyil K-O-Y-I-L app from Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Our website is koyil.org K-O-Y-I-L dot O-R-G